Camera ready. Take one. And action. We stand in the corners of our block and we just rap, just for fun. And we, we joined the Tim Pan Apple Dancer Rap Contest. Now, 200 rappers became in first place, and the first place prize was a recording contract. One of the biggest groups in the early hip hop scene in the 80s was the Fat Boys. Their mix of straight lyrics with comedy will lead to appearances in movies and help move hip hop into the mainstream. We're the Disco 3, better known as the Fat Boys, and we're about to perform one of our hit records called The Human Beatbox on New York Hot Tracks. Brr, stick em. <laughs> stick em. Brr, stick em. <laughs> stick em. Brr, stick em. The Fat Boys consisted of Prince Marky D, Cool Rock Ski, and Buffy, the human beatbox. The song, Human Beatbox, was one of their biggest hits. It also helped to introduce the world to the art of the human beatbox. We go inside the studio with Curtis Blow, and he said, why do you guys always say that brrrr up stick em stuff? What does that mean? So for us, stick em at the time in East New York meant, you know, give up the goods kind of stuff. Stick em meant stick em. <laughs> so he said, yo, make a song out of that. I'm like, you can't make a song out of robbing people. He said, no, make a rap song presenting Buff as the beatbox. So we get in there, we start to <laughs> so we took off from there. Curtis Blow produced the first album, produced the second album. First album with gold, second album with gold. This is at a time where radio still wasn't really rocking with hip hop. But we were selling out arenas every freaking night. Stick <laughs> yeah. Stick That was the street. Anthem. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that was the end. Dudes was running up and down Brrrr, <laughs> <laughs> Stick em. Ha ha ha. Stick em. Come a beatbox. Play one for me. Even when Ducky came out, he had to jab these dudes first. You go back to the show. Right. He said. And I'm known for the. Not for the. <laughs> They did a, he I'm did a known rendition. For the, yeah. I'm known for the, not the, yeah, right, right. because everybody knew the fat boys. And then if you coming out, you had, these were the kings. These were the dudes that was on top. The Fat Boys were one of the first hip-hop groups to embrace the idea of crossing over into other media, starring in films like Crush Groove, Night to the City, and Disorderly. The Fat Boys could put you in the hospital. In Disorderlies. What? What I need are the worst orderlies in the history of nursing care. The crossover appeal lifted the culture up as far as mainstream. We knew what KRS One and Cool G Rap and Rakim and what those guys were doing, holding up the underground part of it. So us and Run DMC and LL Beastie Boys and Houdini was on top of it, just giving it to the mainstream. Of their seven studio albums, four were declared gold by the RIAA, and Crushing was declared platinum. Rest in peace and power to Buffy the Human Beatbox and Prince Marky D, and we are honored to induct the Fat Boys into the National Hip Hop Museum. <laughs>